Okay, people, I'd agree to. Good evening, my name is DJ Paco Rich, and today I'm here for something special. I mean, it is not the usual thing that I used to do, but I feel that as a concerned Ghanaian, I should have a say. I should let you out there know what is going on in this country. First of all, I don't know how you celebrated your Christmas if you did that with a Christmas tree. I'll kindly ask you if you still have the invoice of how much you paid at ShopRite or uh, Okadeco or whatever they call. How much you spent on your Christmas tree because it is becoming unbecoming or on the side of certain leaders in certain offices in Ghanaian environment and I think we would have to stand out and speak against this because this doesn't sound and it doesn't look well in any way because I felt embarrassed when I saw an invoice of a Christmas tree let me read it out to you very well so this is an invoice from favor and arts which apparently I don't know even where the company operates from but you know how it's done in Ghana and then the receipt is billed to Mr. Paul Adomachui yes and then description is a Christmas um, chandelier with lights and then rate is 21,000 Ghana cities and the quantity purchase was four which makes it 84,000 Ghana cities and um, if I should break this down which means 210 million back in the days for a Christmas tree just for decoration at the Ghana airport why why let's ask ourselves why are we so corrupt as Ghanaians that a tree a tree a Christmas tree would have to cost that much and the most annoying thing is that transportation and scaffold for just putting up a Christmas tree is 3,500 Ghana cities, 35 million Ghana cities. For a Christmas tree, scaffold and transportation, now, which kind of car is transporting this flower? Is it, is it from Tamale to, to, to Kotika International Airport? Or from Takradi to even that, would it cost that much? That we buy a Christmas tree in a shop in Accra, transport it to Kotoka International Airport, and the cost of transportation and scaffold alone is 35 million old. I mean, old currency, 3,500 cities. Which car was used in transporting this? How big is even that flower? I'll show you the flower. We've all seen this flower at Kotoka International Airport. That is the amount that cost and our money. <coughs> Excuse me, but we'll still come, they'll still come back to us to pay E levies, C levies, G levy, D levy, and all this. Let's wake up. Why are we killing ourselves? I mean, we're not expecting this kind of atrocious expenditures from Ghanaians. And coming up from and I go people, then we would know they would say, they would, yeah, them, they are be, we know them for that. But it's, it's kind of, I don't know what to say, but I think we've grown past that age that leaders and political front leaders make us feel like we are stupid people, that we don't have sense. Let me give you one annoying thing. I believe you all know what is called assembling and disassembling. While they are buying this flower from the shop or Christmas tree from the shop, we Ghanaians are going to spend 3,000 Ghana cities as the amount or rate for the person who is going to assemble the flower at Kotoka International Airport. Washasha flower, the keke, no, we will to 1,005. Thousand five in thousand five thousand five out, and we corrupt people, and we ashamed for doing this to ourselves. Greedy bastards! I haven't mentioned anybody's name as a greedy bastard, but I'm saying that anybody that squanders a national money like that is a greedy bastard. Man, why do we do this to ourselves? 
we have gone past the age of making the citizens feel like we are fools. We have sense in our brains. We think straight and we also go to market and we purchase these trees. There are various companies, Plus FM. We saw them putting up a nice Christmas decoration there. And if they not cost these amounts and figures you people are quoting, come on. You guys have taken us for a ride for a very long time and I think it is time for the ordinary Ghanaians to wake up. And I'm calling upon the president that he should investigate this issue to the core, else everything will be on him. Just because you are the chief in commander. You appointed these people, so when they start misbehaving like that or bringing out numbers, which doesn't make sense, you need to call them to order or fire them, let them be jailed. And this same person, who, 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 need the woman, Mr. Paul Adumach, you know, a journalist, he was questioning people about this same act. But I keep on saying, you should always practice what you preach. Practice what you preach. We cannot practice what we preach. Anyway, I'll leave this for here. But the news is that Ghana has been able to acquire Christmas tree at our airport for 84,000 Ghana cities, which is um, uh, 840 million. Let me find the dollar equivalent. Just a minute. 84,000 Ghana CDs into dollars. Just a minute. Eighty four eighty four thousand CDs two dollars. I'm doing it this way so that people that live outside Ghana will know. Yes. Yes. Yes, Ghana, we are buying a Christmas tree for thirteen thousand six hundred and twenty five. Dollars. A tree that after second general or third general will not be of any use. This is the amount that we are paying for. Africa. This is the amount that we are paying for a Christmas tree in Ghana. A country that is poor, that has people that do not have classrooms to sit, people that do not have food to eat. This is the amount we are paying for a Christmas tree. That after we fly to this foreigners to beg them for money and to be ashamed of this life i'll leave it here my name is dj parker rich subscribe to this channel it's called in sam morgana sam morgana simply means issues that are coming out of ghana and africa subscribe to this channel let me have your say let me have your comments i'll see you in the next video